Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and we got ourselves a new product in from Ubiquity. They have a new set of products that are being labeled under the Ultra line, and this is something that we're going to be using as an expansion to phase two and three at Galilee Baptist Church. And the first of these Ultras is the Ultra 60 watt. This is an eight port PoE switch that depending on what type of power supply you send to it and plug into it will determine how many watts products and other devices connect to it can be supported. I actually have one of these upstairs with um, just <laughs> connecting all of my video games and TVs upstairs and that did not come with an adapter and I'm powering that through my um, PoE switch. This one is gonna live inside of a rack and um, it actually has a 60 watt power supply. So if we cut over here, and I actually already opened this up and um, if anybody watched my live stream, you would know why. <laughs> but anyway, inside of here, we have ourselves a 60 watt power supply. And like I said, this will determine what type of wattage and what type of how much power this device, this switch can actually use. Here is the switch itself. And on the back, we have its place. And this actually has a magnetic, um, um, well, it's a magnet, it's a magnet. So you, instead of mounting it on um, in the wall, even though it has holes there, you can actually stick it to a frame. And that is exactly how I'm gonna be using it. So if we look here at the front, you see it's seven jacks. AJ, I thought you said eight. The eighth is on the back. I actually like this as a setup. So the uplink that is providing internet access and talking to the Unify brain is actually here on the back. So let's go ahead and plug this in. What else is inside the box? Obviously the plug here. And we're gonna drop this over behind here so we can plug that in. Um, you got a bunch of manuals and you have some mounting screws. You got a placeholder here so you can actually have this level, whether you wanna put it in this direction on the wall or this, you just move the little plastic bubble leveler and just move it there. I'm really liking that instead of having the humongous levels that would come with TVs and stuff like that. You have the mounts here and that's pretty much it. Like I said, I have this exact same one that did not come with a power um, brick and um, looking through uh, Ubiquiti's website, there's no way currently to buy just an adapter to actually give it more power. I'll show you what mine looks like and how much power is being able to be sent through it because I am sending it over um, just regular PoE, um, PoE Plus. Um, you can connect it to a PoE Plus Plus adapter and give it more power. Um, like I said, this is a 60 watt version that I have here. You can also get a 220 watt version. So let me go ahead and plug this in real quick. All right, so before I hook this up, I have the actual rack <laughs> where this is actually going to be connected to. Let me cut this over here. So again, this is a metal wall rack that where this is gonna be connected to, and I need to tighten that screw right there. But as you can see, I have the back plate on here, and there it goes. So it's magnetically held there. If I put it right here, See, it's holding right there. So this is actually gonna live on the inside of this frame um, here. Probably I will put it on the inside once this has been mounted. And again, I don't know where the placement is gonna be. This is gonna be for the security cameras and the access point that's in this back room where this is in the fellowship hall. Um, and I have a power strip that's gonna determine where this cable is gonna go. So just showing you where it's actually going pretty, pretty strong um, magnet. And then at least that way you can save yourself from having to, you know, maybe you don't want to put this in the wall, put some more holes in the wall for mounting this. All right, so I have another cable here that is going to my network and we will get this provisioned and put into my system here. And I thought I had some extra cables around here somewhere. It's always when I'm looking for extra cables to do something, 
when I'm finished recording, then all of a sudden I find the cable. So I'm gonna be a little bit more patient before I try and cut over here. Nah, forget it. Let me get some cables real quick. All right, so we got a couple of cables here and I'm just gonna connect a few devices. I do have another Ultra device that I'll be reviewing in a second video. That is what I'm actually gonna use to connect to this. And this is actually the dome camera that is on their um, Ultra line as well too. And I'm also going to disconnect my mini, my mini um, switch here and connect it as well too. So let's go ahead and switch back over. So again, to show you the power that it can be supported, we're gonna plug this in. And there we go, it's lit up. So we got power here. Let's go ahead and connect this camera. We'll connect that here. Now I do have an old um, security camera that was from Ubiquiti. This is actually one that I installed at my mom's. Um, I had to replace this one, but this used to be passive power. So they had their own type of POE stuff and they've kind of moved away from this. So I just want to see if I even get any power with this. I don't think I will. Yes, this, this needs to be passive. So I think they've, um, this only supports the straight um, PoE. So let me see, what other PoE devices do I have that I can see if we can push this thing to the limit and what we got? I do have, I do have another camera that we're gonna be reviewing. This is the OBS bot. This one actually does support PoE power as well too, as long as you have the adapter, the ethernet adapter. So I wanna plug this in just to show you how much power all of this stuff will be pulling. All right, you can see everything is lit up there. All the devices that I have on here. All right, and we got everything turned on now. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to the computer. Let's get this um, hooked up to the network, which is really simple. And then let's look at the power that's being drawn from this. All right, now before I get started, I do have this other PTZ camera that really draws a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this as well too. All righty, so we got four devices connected here. So let's go ahead and get it set up. As you can see, it's actually showing the camera first. Let's go ahead and go to our devices and let's see. And there it is, the USW Ultra 60. So like I said, I already have one of these and it looks like it needs an update. But let me show you, if I click on here, it can tell you the power that is actually being pulled on here. So as you can see right here, it says the available power depends on the PoE mode and output of the adapter being used to power this device. So right now, um, powered using the PoE adapter. So again, it's being connected directly to my PoE switch and that is connected to port 24, I mean port, I mean port one on my 24 port PoE switch. So I don't know overall how much is actually being pulled from this because the only thing that I have connect to it right now that requires power is my access point and that's pulling 4.78 watts. That's the only thing that's pulling. All right, but anyway, let's get back on here. Let's adopt this really straightforward and I'll go ahead and update my Ultra because for all I know, this other one is going to need to update as well too. So it's really easy to get this stuff. I need to make sure that I remove this since I am going to be moving this over to um, Galilee's setup. And while that's working, I'll just show you Galilee's setup right now. So right now, um, this is actually going to replace the um, light 8 PoE switch. 
This only gives me four POE slots. That's why we're replacing it with this one because originally we were only gonna have six cameras, but we're adding seven more. So we need a little bit more power. And instead of me running multiple ethernet cables from the POE, the 24 port POE switch at the front of the church and running it all the way back here, we're gonna put this other one in the back so that we can actually have some more ports back there. Cause I think we're only gonna do uh, five cameras in that location and it's easier to run them there than to run them all throughout the church. So I think Unify has updated this where I can actually move this device to a different network. I hope I can do that because if I do, that would make this easy. All right, so we got it set on our network and we have the dome camera hooked up here as well too. Now, one thing I will let you know, I like to separate all of my stuff and different IP addresses. Let me actually go back to Galilee so I can show you. I have the security cameras on a VLAN that changes the IP address to .70.13. I have that set up. Now with this switch, this switch does not support tagging like that. So if I come in here right now and I go to port management and I try and change one of these ports, see, I can pick them but maybe that's the update. There used to be an update here that says if you try to do port management, it doesn't support it. So maybe, maybe that update changed it. I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's go back here. And I might have to append that if they have made that change. Because normally um, we would come in here and you can say, hey, I want the, like for me, I want the first four ports to be for Unify Protect. And I want that to be a completely different IP address range. You normally would come in here to port management, pick the port, and say, I want to switch this over to Unify Protect. This is kind of like my setup. And I hit apply. And we'll see if this works, because um, as of yesterday, it did not support this. So I'm going to go ahead and um, cycle the power on this so I can pick up that new IP address. If it does, Great, that's one less thing I have to worry about. <laughs> so if we come back all the way over here to our devices, click on it again, we see our power management. So because of the 60 watt adapter, I am limited to 52 watts, eight watts to run the actual device. And then 52 is available for all of the ports. That's in total. So it's not that 52 can go for every single port, it is 52 in total. So with devices, with the devices I have on right now, um, it is using 23.5. Now I'm wondering, I'm waiting for the camera to cycle, which is right here. And we should see a difference in what the IP address, if the tagging does work. Um, but really, it's really straightforward. I love the fact that it's magnetic. Um, it makes it really easy for mounting because most of the time I would put this inside of a rack mount anyway. So that works for me. So let's go back here and see, did it cycle back? All right, it's back on. And it looks like it does support tagging now because now it's identifying that all the rest of my ports are on the default network except for the one that I changed. And there it goes. It changed the IP address to that, um, to the VLAN that supported that I tagged it on. So yay, they've actually updated that. So that's one, <laughs> I was gonna say originally, I changed the port where this switch was connected and I forced it to be connected to a tagged um, port that forced everything on this device to be on the VLAN. But thankfully I don't have to do that anymore. So there we go, we're able to separate them and it works great. So like I said, um, really like this new ultra line that they've come out with. Um, I have this upstairs. I had B-roll to show you where I have mine connected and everything like that. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go back over here real quick and let's go to the Unify store so I can show you exactly. So this is the ultra line of all the products that they have. And it doesn't look like, like I said, that you can buy this separately. This is the dome that we're going to be reviewing pretty soon. This is the one that I personally have that supports 42 watts with our POE coming in. 
and then 52 with this adapter and you have a 210 watt that will give you a total of 202 watts addressable through all the other ports. So really cool, but again, I don't see a way um, to just natively, um, to just buy a new adapter. And I must, I stand corrected, I must have a PoE++ adapter connected to there. That's why I'm getting 42 watts. His regular PoE Plus would only give me 16 watts. So I must be using a, a PoE injector um, to do that. Yeah, I do. I'm thinking, yeah, I do. I do have that. So that's why I'm getting that much. But I wish there was a way that you can just buy that adapter. Because say you want to get something like this and you don't need it, but then your needs came up and you want to get the adapter to give it more power. So under here, see, it doesn't give an option. Maybe it will come out later, but as currently, it does not support that. All right, so that's it. So that is the Ubiquiti Unify Ultra 60 watt. And I'll throw in the non, I mean the 42 watt, which is the one that I have. Very simple to get set up. Um, love the aesthetics, love the, the jack on the back. So now you don't have cables all over the place. So that's gonna make that really nice and really helps you know which one is which when you're connecting it. So that'll be my uplink when we install it at Galilee and then I have all the other plugs in the front. So it makes it really nice and neat. Um, so I think that's about it. Link is down below if you're interested in getting one. And as of right now, when it comes to the Unify stuff, don't buy them from Amazon because they're marked up. Get them directly from Unify store. Um, most of the time they have everything in stock and you're going to get them at the exact same prices. I've seen them online um, at Amazon and they're marked up. Or you can go to B&H Photo, something like that, a licensed um, reseller of Unify and Ubiquity products and they don't mark them up. So um, let me know if you have any other questions because, again, I do have the nine, I mean, the 42 watt version. Um, so I, if you have any other questions, we can do that and be on the lookout for our phase two install at Galilee Baptist Church where we actually put this in place. And I will call that out as well, too. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video later.